ויחל נורא חיש האדמה והייתה קרה. אפטר דה מבול, אפטר דה... one year, almost one year that נוח and the children, eight people together, they were in the ship, in the teva, and they came out of the the ship. The pasuk says, "Vayachel Noach ish Adama vayitakar." Noach started to plant a vineyard. The Torah here calls Noach ish Adama, the earthy man. So the midrash says that what happened that in the beginning of the parsha, Torah calls him ish sadik. Ish Sadiq Tamim Hayab Doratav. In the beginning of the parsha, he is being called the Ish Sadiq. And now Torah calls him Ish Adama. And Mar says, Moshe Rabbeinu, he was a Ish Mitri. And then he became Ish Elohim. Uh, he went up and uh, his level. But here the Noah was the other way around. In the beginning of the parsha, Torah calls him Ish Sadiq. But here he calls him Isha Adama. The Midrash says because why he was called Isha Adama, he was a healthy man, because what he did was Vaita Karim. That he planted, start planting the vineyard. And we know the out, outcome of this action that he did, that he got drunk, and we know the whole story, the Shem and uh, Yafet, they came and they covered him and the harm what he did and he was cursed. He was uh, Eved Avadim. The harm was Eved Avadim, outcome of this action. So we have to see why did Noah decided to do that. And, uh, Noah, we have to realize, as we you know, Noah is not a Noah, he's a Navi. He is uh, almost Adam Arishon. He is the one, the father of all mankind is Noah. And the one that remained from the Mabul is a Noah and his children. And Noah is from Adam Arishon. Adam Arishon is the father and the Noah is the uh, second father of everybody. The same way that Adam Arishon is Adam Arishon, Noah is Adam Arishon too. The second of two Adam Arishon. But he is the father of the all mankind. He was a Navi, Alushwa, who comes to him and speaks with him. And being a Navi is not a, a level that we could even imagine what type of a person he is, what type of a level he has. We, uh, we are so uh, uh, admire the our Gedolim Bizman Azeh, forget about, let's say, Arizal. Arizal is Kadosh. <laughs> Arizal was Akron. Tanaim. The Tanai, wow, the have a power of Mechayam uh, The Navi is much greater than them. And Noah was a Navi. He wasn't a, a Satama person to come and, oh, let's plant a vineyard and get drunk. And we look at him when we go through this, the the story that he, he got drunk and what happened, if you look at him, unfortunately, uh, very down. But pay attention, uh, Noah, uh, he was a great person. He was a Navi, who talks to him? Noah He was the one that Allah Baruch favored, had a favor to him. He was chosen. Under 20 years, he came and he built the table, he was done, who, uh, for who Allah sure who makes such a nest and choose him. Okay. Uh, he uh, is a Navi, so definitely there should be a calculation, there should be a cheshbon, why he decided to plant this vineyard. Why? The Midrash says that uh, when Noah came out of the Teva, he came out. He saw everything, Olam Kharevra, the destruction of the whole planet, everything. The people he worked with, 
the, nothing is the same. Everything is zero. After being one year in the ship, now it comes out this confronting, wow. The Midrash says, the uh, Midrash being from the Zohar. The Midrash says, it brings from the Zohar, I couldn't find the Zohar. It brings from the Zohar that he was going and crying. What happened to the world? Wow! Akash why did you destroy the world? Which Akash Baruch tells him, Rayashate. <laughs> now you saying that before the Mabul, you had to come and dub him for them. But you see, after being one year in a, sh in a table and come and see such a thing, he couldn't hold on. He was crying and crying. He knew the Mabul is coming, everything. But when it's, it was such a Tehunat Nefesh he had. He's crying and crying and says, why did I was who do that? He, he was a great person. Why did he plant the vineyard? Some say, if you want to look at it very simply, you look at it. So, Ayayim, Mr. Miach she was a uh, depressed person. When he, ca he came and he saw such a destruction, Yain is We need it. The mankind needs this. Sometimes to have some wine. Uh, we see the wine itself is a lot of praise to the wine. We look at the wine. What is wine? Uh, uh, we have a uh, kedushin, it's a bit of wine. Berit Mila, which is the berit of Kalali Sarit Akdoshu, on the wine. Shabbat, wah, Maase Bereshit, on the wine. Amrav, you know, make a mishta of wine for Ishak. He was waiting for Ishak to come and make a mishta, mishta on wine. Yosef sent his father after 17 years, then same, he sent him Yain Yashan. Forget about this simple wine. And the Zohar goes through uh, what the uh, uh, wine is, why do we make it? Definitely, uh, the Yaakov uh, says that he saw Gef and Grufa Miganeden, so he saw it, he went and planted it. So the calculation to plant a vineyard, it wasn't something off was something that makes sense to do it. You plan, you plan the one or two. Yain is a machlava venosh. The Kabbalah Zohar in it, many reasons to do it. What is his mistake? Why was considered a mistake for him? It's true. Good. He had a calculation. He made a, a simple calculation. Why should I do that? And he did it. The problem with that was, the Midrash says, Isha Adama, oh, he was Ish Saddiq, now he's why Isha Adama? The Midrash says, the claim against Noah was not that he uh, planted the vineyard, that wasn't the mistake. The vineyard has to be planted. Why is something ne uh, needed, necessary to, to be there? For what the other reasons? He says, the Midrash says, Bimkom, instead of going and planting Chita, which is a bread, you planting first vineyard? The claim against Noah, his mistake is, not why did you plant it wine, vineyard? The claim against him is priority. What comes first? Is that the first thing you should do? The first, definitely. You know, wine is something necessary. has to be there. But is that the first thing you should do? That comes first? Or first go plant yesh dvarim acharim. Go plant hita. Wheat. Bread. You have to eat. Agvaniyot. Melafefanim. Vegetables. Eat. Okay, after that, definitely you go plant a vineyard too. That also is essential. It's needed. 
השותה יין בתוך הסעודה אינו משתכר. The wine is in the סעודה, but first you have to have the סעודה. What comes first? The סעודה comes first or the wine? You need it both. But what do you have to go and do it first? This is his mistake. Now, we might can say, oh wow, because of that, uh, he is called Isha Adama. He was a Sadiq. For the year, not only 40 days. Such a chesed, chesed in Ola uh, Ibane. That he was such a chesed to feed all the animals. He went through everything. He's a Navi. All these level, high levels that he has, only because of one this little mistake, is called the Shadama. Yes. You have to have priority. What comes first? What comes second? What should I do first? What is the Ikar? That's the main. You have to do it first. What is Tafel? Is the secondary? Do it later. But if you do it the other way around, you lose everything. Ish Sadiq becomes Ish Adama because of that. It's not something, so what? And this is also important. Yes, nobody says it's not important. There are values. Yes, there are things that you should do first, then the second. What is your obligation first? I should do this first. Nothing wrong with the other one, right? Nothing wrong. But if you choose to do the, to make the tafel ikar, an ikar tafel, you lose everything. Because isha adama. Ish saddiq becomes isha adama. It's very important. It's not something, okay, so what? That's also the mitzvah. That's also the mitzvah. They called me, you come every day to this minion. They rely on you. Okay, they called me, I went to that minion. They also need a minion. They also, also need a minion. Okay, definitely. Everybody needs a minion. Definitely. Very good. <laughs> but what comes first? You came here already. They're relying on you. That comes first. So what? Is a minion here? Is a minion there? Definitely. Good. But you have to know what is your priority. What is... What comes first, what comes second? Everything is a mitzvah. And Mavri and mitzvah, there are two mitzvahs in front of you. Which one comes first? You do that first. The old, uh, uh, the halacha, they go through the thing when you do the to Shnei Lechem and, and, and Birkat Amosi, uh, how do you take it? Take, take it this way, take it this way, take it that way. Everybody says, the one that you want to cut and eat it, it should be a little towards you. Because it's important, yes. There is a Dine Kadima. Dine Kadima means a lot. Aramayan Shura says, you tell me your priorities, and I tell you what type of a person you are. In your eyes, what is important, what is the secondary, then I could know exactly what type of person you are. What is that halacha? Before, before davening, you are not allowed to eat. In the morning, you get up, I'm hungry. Don't eat. Per se tefillah. There's a dinay kadima. What does it mean? Oh, halacha I have to keep. There's a concept. The concept is, where is your mind? What is important for you? Your tefillah is important for you or to take care of yourself? When the Khazar, they tell you, Halakha, Asur le'echol kodama tefillah, it's not only Halakha and put it back and that's it, I do it. There are concepts that are teaching us Khazar. You have to be a, a type of a person to be that, nah, before I done, before I get up, first I have to appreciate HaKadosh Baruch Hu for I, I am alive. Then think about I'm hungry. When the Chazad, they tell this Allah, there is a, you have to know what the concept of the Allah is. 
The halacha is, you, they are telling you. First, give a dot to Hashem. Say, Elokai Nishama. Say, thank you, I'm alive. Shinatata bi tohorai. First, say that. Then, okay, I'm angry. Hold on yourself. The concept. What comes first? Where are you? What is first? What is the second? What is the secondary? If a person chooses to do the, uh, a tuffle first, what is the second in first? Now you're off. You become a shadama. Forget about it. And later on, when the Kalari said they want to come to Eris Israel, the uh, Shevet God, uh, Rovan, when actually they come to Moshe Rabbeinu, we want the land before the other, uh, uh, before they go over the, <coughs> uh, the past the river. So, uh, Moshe Rabbeinu gave them to them, what do you, you don't want to come to Eretz Israel? He says, no, we come, we fight everything, but we want this land. So, the Russian they use their, Moshe Rabbeinu gives it to them. They say, Gidrotson nimne ne mikne no po ve arim le tapenu. We are going to build here, uh, something Gidrotson, a place is for our son, for the cattle. The Arim the Tapeno and places for our children. Oh, Moshe Rabbeinu get to them. What? Which one is important for you? First, you want to have place for your cattle, then for your children. And he said, Promise me. Moshe Rabbeinu made them to promise. He says, If you don't do that, you're you're a chote. Let's on him. Do you? There's a priority. Your nachasim comes before your children. Yes. When when whenever you want to decide on anything, you have to say what comes first. You want to buy a house. Where should I buy a house? Oh, this size is bigger, it's cheaper, or what I'm doing for Chinuch, my children. I, my house should be next to Shul. On Shabbat, I should have every Shabbat is allowed to walk to Shul. Oh, yes. What comes first? Priority. What comes first? Don't. What is council? You have to decide. You, you have to lose money? Okay. It's more expensive? Okay. That's a din kadima. Everything, there's many, many examples into the life. That the biggest mistake that we were doing, the judgment that every day we judge, what comes first, what is ikar for me, and what is tafel for me. The Mishnah in Baumitsya says, if a person finds something for himself, he has to go and find what he lost or something for his father. Avedat asma kodem. You have to go for yourself. That's a dine kadima. First you think about it. And Gemara brings, uh, learns it from the Pasuk, Efes ki lo yebecha evyon, that you should, uh, you should Shouldn't become ani. You lost something, go after it. Avedat aviv, avedat rabo, avedat rabo kodem. If you have a choice, you something your father lost and something your rabbi uh, lost, you have to return first uh, your rabbi, then your father. Why? Because uh, aviv, if you are lo lama ba, aviv, if you are what do you appreciate? Who do you work for first? For your neshama, a person that brought you to uh, Olam Abba, or a person that brought you to Olam Abba? Both of them, very important. Aviv, is equal to the uh, uh, code of Agadosh Baruch Hu. In Asara Dibarot, it's the first line is Anochi Hashem, in front of it, Kaved Tavicha. They are equal. Very, Gemara doesn't. Uh, underestimate the covered of. Very important, very good. But there is something more important. That's what you have to do. Abdad Rabo Kodem. That's more important. Your neshama is important. You, you have to be appreciated to your Rebbe 
more than your father. Not the chas father is not important. Definitely. The kavod av is equal to, uh, 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 to kavod Hashem. But there's a priority. The dine kadima. This is a mitzvah, that's also a mitzvah. Okay, both of them mitzvah. No. There is a priority on everything. I made an experiment. Very interesting. The things that we have to appreciate and we are obligated to appreciate or things that we want to do a chesed. Unfortunately, we as a human being have a, such a tendency we like to do more chesed than to do our obligation. Which is wrong. First do your obligation, then do chesed, right? A lot of times. The obligation, mm, yeah. Oh, I want to do chesed. You run. Oh, it's a chesed, it's a mitzvah. I made a Experiment. Here, by the Mirpe Kedim, we have a box down, it says on it, Donation Mikveh. Which is people, they got a service, there is a Mikveh, Kelim, whenever they come, for free. There is not no obligation, no nothing. But it says at the bottom, anyone wants to donate anything, donate for the service that you got. You can There is a box on top of the counter. It says, Sadaka donation. There's a Sadaka. Once I said, okay, let me see which one people donate more. I empty both of them at the same time. And then after for a few weeks, end of the week, I see how people react to this. There's two bugs. One box, you came here, you got the service here, and they're asking you to donate something for the service that you got. And one of them is a sudaka. Believe it or not, sometimes was the same. But a lot of times, the donation sudaka was more. You come here, okay, it's for free, it's okay, good, very good. But our purpose was here to put it here, everybody should use it, that's not the issue. I'm, my, my point is, what is the nature of a human being? How our mind works? Something that Zaché said, oh, Zaché, it's a sadaka, donation, sadaka, I have to give. You, you use the service, feel some obligation, to pay for it. You, you don't have a courage to do that. When it comes a sadaka donation, something extra, oh, you want to do it. We are very tzaddikim, gemurim. We have such a feeling. Very good. But unfortunately, we underestimate the obligation that we have. And that obligation comes first. It's a dinei kadima. Priority. First, try to do your obligation. Then do chesed. And this is exactly what the Yisrara does to us. You don't do what your uh, uh, obligation is. You are not Russia. Don't think you are Russia. You are a tzaddik. You are doing chesed. That we are fooling ourselves. That's the tendency comes from. By doing a chesed, I'm, I'm fine. I'm doing a mitzvah. That's the answer to the yeserara that why you are not doing your obligation. You satisfy yourself. Think about it. You got a service. It's true they are not demanding. But pay for the service you get. 
You want to do chesed? Then do chesed. A lot of times comes. I had a discussion a few years ago. I had a discussion with somebody. This person, also, we have a color here. I had to speak with people to, to support the color. This person is a gvir, a very nice person. He helps everybody. I went to, he used to come to us. He moved out of valley, so, but he used to come here and everything. I told him, support us more. He was helping us. He says, you're right, yeah, but, but you know, I'm supporting your colony in Eretz Israel. I said, ah, it's good, uh, very good. Nothing has to do anything wrong with it. It's a big mitzvah to support culinary. So, excellent. But I, thought, I, I think he, <laughs> the obligation comes first. And yeah, he'll have me. Giving donation also has a priority. Dine Kadima. Who to give first? Who to give second? There is a priority. In terms of the Talmud Torah of your town, comes first. He tells me, you're right, but you know, uh, I have this amount of uh, donation that I have to give. If I make this uh, amount of donation, if I send it to Israel, I'm going to provide uh, 10 avrach. If I give it here, it's only one avrach. So who sh what should I ch choose? That's much better. I tell you, you're right. It's a good calculation. It's a big mitzvah. You are supporting ten avrachim instead of what you could give one. A very good, excellent calculation. But something wrong with this calculation. Do you see your obligation with your obligation? Let me ask you a question. If you have a son, you want to send him to yeshiva. Yeshiva is expensive. They tell you yearly 10,000. The tuition or more. And somebody comes to you and tells you, give me 10,000, I could send 20 kids to yeshiva in Eretz Israel. Do you ask, oh, why should I put my son with 10,000 in yeshiva? I could do with this 10, uh, 10,000, 20 kids in yeshiva in Eretz Israel. Do you make that cheshbon? Perfect cheshbon. Let me put my child in a public school. Oh, I have 10,000. With this 10,000, I'm going to support 20 students to go to yeshiva. Very good calculation. The, the hood is 20 times more. The Talmud Torah is 20 times more. The Sadaqah that you give, 20 times more. Very good. Is that right? Are you going to do that? What do you mean? It's my child. He's <laughs> a corrupted person if he does that. Do you make such a cheshbon? You don't. Why? There is a din of kedima, priority. First, do what you are obligated. Even that chesed might be ten times more, but you won't do it. That's not what should be done. That's not right. You cannot just make that calculation. See where I, I have to do first. Oh, that one is more zechut, more tzedakah, more mitzvah. That global cheshbon, that you cannot calculate like that. Noach comes out, okay, there is a need for the wine, yeah, with the old thing. But first have a seuda, then have wine. First go have uh, 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 the, the chita that you need, the bread that you need. That's your bread. If you don't have bread, why have a yain? What do you want a yain for? What happened? Out of this, because of this, what he chose to do, he got drunk. What was comes out of this being drunk? The 
Chacham, his son, got cursed Eved Labad. He has three sons. Each of them, he worked hard on them. Kitab Safar says that for under 20 years, the reason Noah wasn't going out to tell people because he wanted to take care of his children. The Chinu Chabani was so important for Noah, he didn't want his son to have any connection with anybody. That's why he was by himself. Everybody has a, a claim against Noah. Why didn't you go out to reach out to people? Noah, Ketav Sefer says, the reason he didn't go out because he was, wanted to close up with his children and they shouldn't have any connection with the people of the society. He cared so much about his children. Each one of them was a gem for him. Shem, Ha, huh? Yafet. Ham also liked Shem and Ham, he was important for them. But he lost it. He lost that son. The Ikar became a tafel for him. Why? Because he chose the tafel over the Ikar. Because he first did the wine. Something that should come second, he did it first. What happened? His son became an Eved out of that. That's a consequence. It's not an onish. It's a consequence what you do. If you make a tafel to Ikar, something second to become us, that's what type of a person you are. That Agadosh Baruch Hu is going to deal with you like that. Things that for you is important is going to become secondary. His son becomes Eved, a second to the others. It's a consequence. You tell me what is your priority, I tell you what type of a person you are. If you make the Ikar Tafel, the Tafel Ikar, a lot of things that are important in, in your life, the Ikar becomes Tafel for HaKadosh Baruch. That's a consequence in me, that can get me done. But we see from Noah that he became Isha Adama only because of that mistake. Not to pay attention, what is Ikar, what I should do first. But both of them is a mitzvah. Maybe the second mitzvah might be more important. But you cannot overcome, and ma'averin and mitzvah. You cannot overcome the first one. Your obligation. What is the first to be done? That we have to open our eyes. That where our obligation lies, first to do that. I mean, that rabbo. Call them. The appreciation to the Rav is more. Both of them is a big mitzvah. Asur le'achol kodem tefillah. This dinay kedima is a concept that the uh, Torah tells us that we should know what is first, what is the second, and do accordingly. Uh,